Welcome back to my channel, Math and Language, and we're going to tackle stoichiometry, mass to mass ratio. So, in our previous video, we have tackled yung balancing chemical equations, pangalawa, yung add the molar masses, at yung pangatlong video natin na nakaraan is mole to mole ratio. So, ngayon, we're going to do mass to mass ratio. So, in our first lesson, we have to tackle the mass to mass ratio formula. So we have a formula like this one. Yung grams A times mo siya ng 1 mole A over GPMA or grams per mole. Times mo ng coefficient B over coefficient A. Times mo ng grams per mole B. Times over 1 mole B is equal to grams B. Now take note, ang grams A natin, ito yung grams given. Ang yung grams B naman, yung sa formula natin, that will be grams 1 dead. Yung coef, that will be coefficient. So let's have the first example. How many grams of hydrogen gas are needed to produce 75.2 grams of water? Given the following unbalanced chemical reaction. So we have H2 plus O2 is equal to water. So kailangan muna natin siyang i-balance bago tayo mag -solve. So that will be 2H2 plus O2 is equal to 2H2O. Pag na-balance na natin, lagay na natin yung formula. Yung nakalagay sa screen natin. So, let's substitute it one by one. Let's start with the grams A. So, grams A natin, ito yung given. So, we have 75.2 grams of water. So, ilagay ko na siya sa pinaka-left. 75.2 grams H2O. The times mo siya sa 1 mole A. So, 1 mole A natin, that will be 1 mole H2O. Kasi A natin is given. So, 1 mole ng water. So, not as GPMA or grams per mole. So, if we're going to get the molar mass of H2O, that will be 18.02 GH2O. Next, we have the coefficient B. So, a coefficient B, coefficient ng hinahanap natin, which is the hydrogen gas. So, that will be 2H2. Alright, next one will be coefficient A. So, coefficient A, yung coefficient ng given. So, that will be 2 also. And that will be 2H2O. Alright, so next one, GPMB or grams per mole lang inahanap natin. So, ang inahanap natin is yung hydrogen. So, that will be, ang grams per mole noon will be 2.02. Pag kinumpit natin yung molar mass ng H2. 2.02 grams H2. Next naman, we have the 1 mole B or 1 mole ng wanted. So, that will be 1 mole ng H2. And as you can see, sa formula natin, magka-cancel out yung mga terms. At ang matitira dyan, yung mga numbers na lang, at yung mismong hinahanap natin. So if you're going to do the math, 75.2, multiply natin sa 2.02 GH2 kasi cancel out na yung nasa taas eh. Yung sa pangalawa at pangatlo, cancel out na. And we're going to divide it na lang sa 18.02. And the final answer will be 8.43 grams H2O. So dun sa tanong na how many grams of hydrogen gas are needed to produce 75.2 grams of water, given the following unbalanced chemical reaction, the answer will be 8.43 grams of water. Alright, so second example tayo. If 92 grams of aluminum is produced, how many grams of aluminum nitrate reacted? So we have the equation ALNO3 tapos 3 ulit plus Mg is equal to MgNO3 2 plus aluminum. So we need to balance the chemical equation first. So that will be 2 aluminum nitrate plus mo ng 3 magnesium. Ito ay magiging 3 magnesium nitrate plus dalawang aluminum. So again, to solve this, lagay ko yung formula at we need to substitute it. So first one, Yung grams A natin, that will be 92.0 grams aluminum. Multiply natin sa 1 mole A. So, 1 mole A is yung 1 mole ng given. So, that will be 1 mole aluminum. Over mo ng GPM A or yung grams per mole ng aluminum. So, that will be 26.98 grams yung sa aluminum. So, 1 aluminum atom is 26.98 grams. Times natin siya sa coefficient ng B or coefficient ng wanted. So that will be 2 aluminum nitrate. 
over mo siya sa coefficient ng given. So, that will be 2 aluminum. Now, we have to multiply it to the grams per mole ng aluminum nitrate, which is 213 grams aluminum nitrate. Over mo ng 1 mole ng 1 ted. So, that will be 1 mole aluminum nitrate. It's equal to grams B. And as you can see, magka-cancel out na tayo ng terms. At pwede na tayo mag-multiply and divide. So, algebraically, that will be 92 times mo ng 213 over mo ng 26.98. And the answer will be 726.316 grams aluminum nitrate. So, dun sa tanong na if 92 grams of aluminum is produced, how many grams of aluminum nitrate reacted? So, the answer will be 726.316 grams aluminum nitrate. Alright, so third example tayo. How many grams of chlorine can be liberated from the decomposition of 58.5 grams of gold chloride by this reaction? So, as you can see, we have AuCl3 and that will be Au plus Cl2. So, we need to balance the chemical equation first. So, ang kakalabasan yan, that will be 2 gold chloride is equal to 2 gold atoms plus mo ng tatlong chlorine gas. So again, we have to put the formula tapos substitute natin. So grams A natin, that will be 58.5 grams ng gold chloride. Na times mo ng 1 mole A or yung 1 mole ng given, that will be 1 mole ng gold chloride. Next, grams per mole ng given. So, that will be ang gold chloride that is 303.3 grams per 1 mole. Multiply natin sa coefficient ng 1 ted, which is yung chlorine gas. So, that will be times mo ng 3Cl2. Over mo ng coefficient ng A, that will be 2 gold chloride. Ngayon, multiply naman natin siya sa grams per mole ng 1 ted. Ang grams per mole ng 1 ted, so we have ang chlorine gas, that is 70.91 grams. Cl2. Over mo ng 1 mole B or 1 mole wanted, so that will be 1 mole Cl2. And the answer will be grams B. And again, magka-cancel out tayo ng terms. Now, we can multiply and divide na. So, we just have to algebraically multiply na lang and divide. So, that will be 58.5 times mo ng 3 times mo ng 70.91 over mo ng 303.3, tapos divide mo ulit ng 2, and the answer will be 20.52 grams Cl2, or chlorine gas. Okay, so last example tayo. Ito, medyo weird tong question na to. Mapapansin mo mostly, sa stoichiometry, mass-to-mass -mass ratio, meron tayong chemical equation. This one, compound lang, as in mag-isa lang siya. So, paano natin isasolve to? We like this question, how many grams of oxygen are in a sample of calcium phosphate that contains 78.5 grams of calcium? So, nalala nyo yung sa formula natin sa mass-to-mass -mass ratio formula, we have this kind of formula, di ba? Ang papalitan lang natin dyan is yung coefficient. Kagawin natin number of atoms. Yun lang naman yun. Kaso same formula will apply. So, let's try to solve this one. So, yung calcium phosphate, so, hinighlight ko na yung calcium na dark blue kasi ito yung given, and we're looking for the oxygen, naka-highlight na red. So, grams A natin, that will be 78.5 grams of calcium. Times mo sa 1 mole ng calcium. So, alamin naman natin kung ilang grams meron sa isang mole ng calcium. And that will be 40.08 grams. Ngayon, multiply natin siya sa number of atoms ng Wanted. So, number of atoms ng oxygen ay 8. So, number of atoms of A or yung given na calcium, we have 3 atoms. Ngayon, multiply natin siya sa grams per mole ng B or yung wanted. So, that will be 16 grams of oxygen. Per 1 mole ng oxygen, meron tayong 16 grams. So, over ko siya sa 1 mole oxygen. And that equal to grams B. Ngayon, same lang din siya. Magka-cancel out tayo ang matitira yung numbers at yung 16 grams ng oxygen. So, para makuha natin yung grams ng oxygen, multiply na lang natin. So, that will be 78.5 times mo ng 8 times mo ng 16 
over mo ng 40.08 at divide ulit siya natin ng 3. And the answer will be 83.57 grams of oxygen. So dun sa tanong na how many grams of oxygen are in a sample of calcium phosphate that contains 78.5 grams of calcium, ang sagot ay 83.57 grams of oxygen. And that's the end of the lesson about stoichiometry mass-to-mass -mass ratio. Ang next video natin will be about stoichiometry, limiting reactant, and excess reactant. So for example, we have ammonia plus monang oxygen gas that is equal to nitric oxide plus water. So for 3.25 grams of ammonia are allowed to react with 3.50 grams of oxygen gas, which reactant daw ang limiting reagent. So sa next video natin siya malalaman. Again, if you would like to comment or suggest another math and language video, please comment down below. Again, this is James, your math and language instructor. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.